The last thing I remember was walking down some stairs. How did I end up here? When I came to, I realized I was somewhere I'd never been before. I ran and wasted no time exploring this new place. It was creepy, to say the least. There was a note in my hand that said, do generators, and I found a generator. So I figured it would be a good idea to work on it, even though I had no idea what was going on. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching me. I kept watching my back as I worked on this generator. Then I saw it. A man with a mask and a knife. He came up to me and he stabbed me. I ran off. I ran for my life. I didn't know what was going on. Who was this man? Who was this person? Is this the person who took Michaela? I needed answers. But I knew I wouldn't get him if I was bleeding out. Found some place to hide, and I healed up with this med kit I brought with me, luckily. I decided to watch all my angles and make sure nothing else was creeping in the shadows. And then I noticed a couple friends. Allies? Teammates? They looked friendly. So I figured I would go up and ask them for advice and ask them if they'd seen the man with the mask. Oh, yes. The man in the white mask. You cannot kill him. We've been trying for seven years. We managed to stay alive by hiding out in these rooms in this here memorial institute. But I do not recommend you try and kill him on your own. If you do these generators here, you can get the power back on and escape through one of these exits here on the edges of this building. I would recommend you do that. My name is Quentin Smith, by the way. Have yourself a good day. I didn't know what to say, but it seemed like sound advice. I said farewell and carried about my business. I figured it was a good plan to try and get these gents done to escape this institute I was in. The only thing I knew is I needed to find Michaela, and I didn't think she was here. I found another generator and started to work on it. And then, the most curious person came out from behind the generator. Hey, listen to me, Holmes. You got to understand, man. This man, he's crazy. He's trying to kill me. He came up. He stabbed me with a knife. I tried to calm this man down, but he wouldn't stop freaking out. You don't understand. You don't understand. He was coming to kill us all. I persisted to try and calm him down, but to no avail. So I helped him with his wounds and the stabbings that had occurred to him. But this person was in obvious distress, so I left as fast as possible. I later heard a sound in the distance. It sounded like screaming. It sounded like someone was in distress. It sounded like someone needed some help. So I ran off. Wondering if it was the girl, the girl that I had saw with Quentin. My heart started to race. My heart was pounding. I needed to get there. I needed to see what was going on. But then... What's up guys, it's your boy DVD Builds. I was in a mood today, so I spent a few hours editing this video up. And it was a ton of fun, but these kinds of videos are super hard to make because I am literally the, the player. I am the voice actor, I am the storyteller, I am the video editor, I am the sound guy. <laughs> Gosh, these videos are so insane. So I spent like four hours editing up just this small little clip you see here. And I would be down to finish it if there is enough engagement and want for me to actually finish out this little horror story film I'm kind of like making right now. But let me know, guys, if you really do want to see me actually finish this episode, then please likes, comments are greatly appreciated and even share this with the DVD community. And if it takes off enough and I feel like it's worth putting in the effort to finish editing up this whole video, then that is what I will do. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching and uh, hanging out with me. See you on the next one.